Hey everyone, here today with another unboxing, this time of Time of Crisis by uh, GMT Games, which is about the Roman Empire in the Mediterranean. It's a time of turmoil from 235 to 284 AD. This one has a fairly good solitaire rating, although the game is designed for two to four players, and I think it's probably best at two to four. I've only got to check it out on uh, Tabletop Simulator and Vassal so far. I'm looking forward to actually playing it. It's a pretty low complexity game too, but uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at the components. Typical, fairly big uh, GMT box. Uh, nice rules here with um, definitions, player setup, sequence of play, examples, combat, and Game end is 0.7, so it's not a super long in terms of that way. It just takes a couple hours to play, though. Um, historical finger, figures, pretenders, examples of play, and it goes on for a couple of pages. It's worth checking those out if you're into this. And then some historical notes. All right, uh, FAQs at the end, as well as credits. We have some two player tables and three player tables. Uh, those are pretty thin. We have these uh, player mats. Again, pretty thin, but not bad quality. Just thinner than I would like. And there's four of those. All right, nice. Uh, no printing or cardboard problems there. I'm not gonna punch out everything right now. No printed or cardboard problems there. Uh, no problems there. Okay. And now for the fun thing, as far as this goes, this big map board. It is a map on a board, so it's not just a piece of paper. Let's see. I do like to put mine back into the bags that they come with, now that they come with them, and then put a uh, silica packet in there to keep them nice and uh, glue, glue nicely to the board. But this is a fairly big board. Uh, looks like, let's see, about 40, maybe 40 inches by um, 16. That's just a guess based on the size of the, the, the squares there. Uh, no, probably 32 by 16, sorry. So that is that. I'm gonna have to let it sit out a little bit. Flattened, but it is a nice big board. Uh, nice colors uh, for the type of game it is. Uh, should be, everyone should be able to see the, the symbols easily without having to to strain themselves. Um, comes with six dice and some baggies. Good that has baggies for all those uh, cardboard chips. And let's see what the cards are like. What, what did GMT do with this one? Probably just gloss paper. Uh, yep, gloss paper. A little thin, but not terrible. No edge on those cards. Uh, doesn't look like, oops, any printing. Just using images from the classical era. Um, so we got an inflow stack. And let's see, what does that say? Yeah, inflow stack. And Uh, like Pretender, you may play this event if you're not Emperor and you govern two or more adjacent Protestants each, of which have a support level of three or more. Place a seat of power marker in one of the eligible provinces and breakaway markers of the rest. See section 12 of the rules for additional details. So that's good. It tells you where to go for help. Okay, so different types. Cards there. Tribute, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so those are those. Uh, normal size cards. I think that's all influence deck. Yep, nice big influence deck. And then 
then here we have the event deck. Let's take a look at that. In the event deck, we have uh, things like the Plague of uh, Cyprian, Ardashir, Priest King of Emissa, Palmyre Allies, Shipper, Postumus. I'm not going to look at all these, but I will flip through them real quick. Yeah, for uh, GMT game, these are fine. Um, obviously, a good amount of content here. Uh, but this is Time of Crisis, uh, put out as part of the P500 series from uh, GMT. Historical game about the Roman Empire. And the designer of the game is uh, Ray Farrell and Brad Johnson. Ray Farrell and Brad Johnson. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.